what's poppin', man? Welcome back into the channel. I'm your humble host, Jerome Smith. And on today's video, we're talking about my 10 most complimenting getting fragrances so far for 2024. All right, stay tuned. It's the Fragrance Show. Welcome back in, man. Grab yourself something to drink. Grab yourself a snack. Come and sit down with your boy, man. So we talking about compliment getting fragrances so far for me for 2024. And these are definitely ones I remember because they are unsolicited compliments, meaning somebody just out of the blue might have stopped you and said, yo, you smell nice. It could be male or female and ask you, what are you wearing? So let's get this thing started. First one up on the list for me, whenever I wear this fragrance, I get compliments for sure. You know what I mean, even from, uh, you know, my wife. My wife doesn't always tell me that <laughs> she can smell my cologne, even though I know she do. But she definitely loved this one, guys. And it's from the house of Chiruto. And it is called Tobacco Vanille. It is a Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille clone. This is an excellent fragrance from Paris Corner, guys, for sure. Uh, I actually doubled back and got this fragrance. Um, so I ain't gonna lie, hands down, neck and neck for me right now for a Tom Ford clone has to be this one and from Mason Alhambra called uh, Tobacco Touch, all right? Number two up on my list, guys, is a fragrance I'm actually wearing right now, a woody fragrance that has some almond in it, almond in it, I believe, and some other notes, but it is a woody fragrance by far and it is called Supreme El Home. Old Out Parfume Concentration, this one right here, all right? Number three, guys, is what I call the Swiss Army Knife. You can wear this anytime, any place, anywhere. And it's from the house of Dior, and it's called Dior Home 2020. Dior Home 2020, this thing is another woody-based fragrance. And yes, the Swiss Army Knife, anywhere, church, the club, you name it, Dior Home 2020 banger for sure guys fragrance number four fragrance number four is a invictus uh invictus clone it's from the house of fragrance world and it is the original dna i like some flankers for invictus but ain't nothing like the first one that got it started and it is called invicto invicto guys sorry if that light is too bright this is like a clear bottle but invicto fragrance number Four. Number five, guys, um, it's a staple. And if you have any kind of this DNA, you're good, which we all do. But I'm going to show the OG just to pay some homage. And it is Creed Aventus. Creed Aventus. Whenever I wear this fragrance, not even the OG. Whenever I wear a clone of it, you definitely get compliments. I have got so many compliments this year unsolicited wearing the Creed Aventus and the Creed Aventus. DNA period whether you got a clone on whatever the case might be stellar stellar DNA Fragrance number six now I have been wearing this one fragrance number six. Let me show it to you guys Laden by Mason Alhambra. I have been wearing this one more uh, Than detour noir lately now people if you want to know the difference between detour noir from Al Hermain in this one. To me, Detour Noir has more uh, kick off the skin in the beginning. This one to me has the overall longevity on it. And you know, it's just my preference. I rock this more than Detour Noir, but they both are great for um, what they're cloning and just as a fragrance period. You know, that part from the Marley's, uh, it's latent, it's some excellent DNA. All right, guys, fragrance number six. Number seven, by Killian Angel Share Clone. Best one on the market, Enigma Dopes. Enigma Dopes, compliment getting fragrance. Every time I wear this DNA of Angel Share, the compliments just roll in. It's such a beautiful fragrance. Everybody doesn't like it, but it's a banger. And Enigma Dopes, if you have this one in your collection, you're on the right track. Enigma Dose. Fragrance number eight, guys, is a blue fragrance. 
And to me, anytime you wear a blue fragrance, somebody is gonna give you a compliment. And I actually started wearing this fragrance a couple weeks ago, definitely going heavy on the sprays because it is a summertime scent. But nevertheless, I just dropped the cap too. It is Aquilio Perón. Aquilio Perón is a Bulgari Aqua Perón fragrance. If you want that deep ocean blue uh, kind of thing, you can wear Bulgari Aqua or you can choose this clone. The clone is nice too, but Bulgari Aqua definitely represents that deep blue ocean vibes for sure go nine and then ten fragrance number nine to me is a one million lucky clone and it's called musaf musaf this guy right here from the house i believe our her main no our our zephyron sorry guys our zephyron sometimes i get these houses mixed up together but musaf one million lucky clone in my opinion y'all can even see i have made a nice dent in this bottle this one just comes off you know, people say sour, a little sour as it works. I think it's a little bit more fresher than One Million Lucky, but the DNA is definitely there. Moose off from R.R. Zephyron, all right? This is from Mason Alhambra, and it is called Infinity Elixir. Infinity Elixir. And to me, this is definitely a clone to side effects. Now, there is another fragrance, I believe, called after effect but all of these bottles look the same but when i smell this infinity elixir this definitely is giving me side effect vibes with the caramel sweetness little oud booziness for sure infinity elixir guys from mason alhambra all right so that complete complete my 10 of fragrance that i know for sure i had got unsolicited compliments on you guys name some down below you know what y'all been wearing what y'all been getting complimented on all right thanks for watching another video with your boy man if you need more content click on that video header up above if you want to like and subscribe to the channel you can go ahead and do that as well and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace